Apparently, Connecticut highways are being used for sex trafficking. Investigators say this is happening all too often. Yeah, News 8's Bob Wilson has an exclusive look tonight at how our highways are a connection for that crime. So when you think human trafficking, you probably don't think Connecticut. That's not the first thing in your mind. But because of the 95-91 corridor between Boston and New York, Connecticut is prime grounds for this. According to the police, they say this right here, which you're looking at, the highways are the easiest way to kidnap and bring underage kids up here to Connecticut and sell them for sex. Traffic. Human trafficking. A woman from China takes a bus from New York up Interstate 95 to Interstate 91 to Windsor Locks, answering an ad for a beautician. Police say she was forced into modern-day slavery in the sex trade until they rescued her. And people have definitely had the impression that it happens overseas, that it's an overseas problem, but it happens right in our own backyard. Another case, bars on the front windows, bars on the side windows, inside a teen being held against her will. Police say sexually assaulted, sold, and trafficked for nearly a month. They were able to find an exact location of the apartment, make entry, and rescue the female from where she was being held. The problem was there was no suspects at the time. Hartford police later arresting two men, charging them with sexual assault and trafficking. The trafficking task force says it happens all across Connecticut, from Hartford to Windsor Locks, Milford, New Haven, Clinton, Darien, and other towns as well. The human trafficking that we have been investigating, the cases that we have seen um, happen in some of our larger cities and some of our more rural communities. The task force not only investigates cases coming up the interstate highway, but on the information highway as well. Traffickers use personal ads on websites to sell these exploited teens online. Human trafficking as a result of the, the, the availability of these websites and the use of these websites, that the, the cases are becoming much more prevalent. Now, many of the cases that police break here in Connecticut are actually referred to from outside agencies from down south or New York or Boston, and they have a tip line. If you go to WTNH.com, if you see anything or know of anything out of the ordinary, they want to hear about it. I'm Bob Wilson, News 8.